up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Got a super fun jam for you guys today. It's uh, just basically a little play on the 12-bar blues, but with some nice jangly chords and a couple of... little flibbity flubes. So I think you'll have fun with it. Nice and bluesy and fun. So uh, we'll zoom in and break it down. Oh, real quick, I've got tons of lesson programs at my website, guitarjams.com. Got links below the box down there. Appreciate all that extra support, I really do. Uh, Facebook, all that stuff, thank you. Let's zoom in and learn a fun bluesy acoustic number. Here we go. All right, this is a really fun kind of acoustic blues thing that's really just based on a 12 bar blues. And I'm gonna show you the chords first, and then I'll show you some, you know, we'll spice it up as we go. So the first chord's an E major chord. Then the second chord, just like a blues, would be an A7 chord. Back to E. We are B7, A7, E. It's an E chord, it stays on E, and an E chord, and it does it again. A7 chord, back to E. And then B7, A7. And then if you think da 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 right, you can kind of strum that. I'm adding some groove to it. Um, down, uh, you know, like a. And then if you're going one, two, three, four, you know, I'm adding some chucks there. You know, it can get more complicated rhythmically, but I'm thinking of kind of the words, the melody going along with the strumming. And so that A7 chord, you could play a regular A if you needed to. I'm going to show you something else that I like to do that matches up with the vocal melodies a bit. Um, and then the B7 chord is that second fret, first fret, second fret. And then if you can get your pinky onto the second fret of the high E, you got the B7, the missing chord, the Paul McCartney when he was a uh, junior high age had to get on a bus to go find the guy that knew the mister, mysterious turnaround chord so he could go back to Liverpool and show it to his lads. So you got that B7. Okay? Now we want to get that melody going. And so if I hold this E chord I want to show you the melody this way because you can strum the chord and still get the melody. And that's really fun to do. So what, I'm going to show you the melody by itself though so you can kind of get a feel for it. We're hammering from the open G string to the first fret. And then we're hitting the high E which you could go. Which I went that time I went da 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 da, but you could also go da 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 da. da. Either one's gonna work. Now if you did it with the E chord, you could strum the whole E with that hammer on. See that? And even without going, you could go or. Okay, then we want to go, which is two, uh, two, oh, two, oh on the B string. I'm using my pinky so I can still hold that E chord. So check it out. So 
so we're going... Which would be 2020, oh, oh, hammering to the first of the G again. Da, da, da. To that root, just from that E chord, but it's that second fret of the D. So the fun thing about that is you could be strumming the whole chord for all that riffage and it's still going to sound cool or you can pick out little notes of the riffage and that's going to sound probably even cooler. But here it is just strumming the whole thing. Check it out. See, you can still hear it in there. But if you pick some of the things out. When I go to that A7 chord, something that you could do that doubles up the vocal melody is just like on a regular 12 bar blues, like this kind of thing. You know, which is that open A string, then second fret up to the fourth fret. The vocal melody is right here. Um, you know, it's kind of. So you could kind of get that open A and double some of that melody there. Check it out from the top. B7. Strum the whole thing or pick out any note or a combination of anything you want there. And then I'm playing a regular A7 on the way back. There you have it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, all those links down there. I appreciate that extra support. Hope you had fun. Learn a little something. And uh, hope to do it again with you real soon. See you later.